Hello everyone! Welcome on into the stream! Oh my god, I am so excited! I am so excited! I am so so excited! Welcome on in rain! Oh my god, I have- this is- this is gonna be so fun. This is gonna be so much fun. Oh my gosh. It's almost time for the 4.2 special program. We had it delayed a week, but we're finally, finally here. Oh my god, this is so exciting. Oh my god, this is so exciting. I can't wait to see what happens. Oh my god, just- just- just this. This- this too. This is just so exciting. This art, it's so beautiful. Got Freena here in the front, of course, then Freena and Freena and Freena. So many Freenas. But look, Harlequino, she's there. We know she's there. She's going to be important still. And of course, there's the other piece of art with Nervalette. He's, of course, going to be important being the Hydra Dragon. So I can't. Oh, my God. I can't wait to see this trailer. I cannot wait to see this trailer. This is going to be so cool. And this is this is really interesting because the, the update's coming out next week. Like, it's less than a week away, which is weird to think about. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be playing through the the final quest on Thursday, not Wednesday. It's to give enough time for people who want to avoid spoilers at first, so who want to play through it for themselves before they watch me play through it. So don't worry, I'll be doing that on Thursday. Uh, let's get some background music here, shall we? While we wait, that's probably a good idea. Just some nice vibey Golden Apple Archipelago music, um. Or random mini game music now, really. It's what it's used for in events. It's like, hey, you want to use this? And it's like, yeah, sure, go ahead. But man, I, I love this art because it's just so pretty. It's so pretty. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. These two minutes can't go by fast enough. Go by faster. Go by faster. Oh my god. Yes, yeah, so I think um, probably Monday I'll do the Risley quest. Do the Rise of the Quest on Monday. Um, then I'm going to be doing just exploration on Wednesday of the new areas that are coming out. Um, then going to be doing the final act on Thursday. It's going to be really, really fun. I cannot wait to see this trailer. Less than 100 seconds now. Drink some water to keep myself calm. It's always important. Always, always important. Oh my goodness. It's almost time. Things over here while I wait. It is so exciting. This is so, so exciting. Look at that. It's almost time. Only a minute to go. Only a minute to go. Oh my god. I'm- I'm tired. Like, I probably- I probably- I got a good amount of sleep. Probably like seven hours, but I'm still tired. And I'm still so, so excited. I have not been this excited for a special program in so long. Like, of course, I love the special programs. Kenshin's like my favorite game of all time. But I haven't been this excited probably since like- Probably since like Sumeru's like 3.2 or 3.3. Oh my goodness. This is like. This is like. So cool. Just gonna. Just gonna. Just gonna do that. Thank you. Um. <laughs> I'll do that real quick. Um. Anyways. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. 10 seconds. We turn off this music. Here we go. Is everyone ready? Doesn't matter if you're ready, because it's starting. Here we go. Here we go. Though it appears that you've managed to win over part of the crowd, some of your testimony oh, doesn't add up. The speakers are too loud. You can be rest assured that I, Farina, the god of justice, will get to the bottom of this matter. All right. No details shall escape me. Why can I go? Welcome on yes, in. Sir. Hope you're doing well. That sounds perfect. A god must be firm. A god must not allow any detail to slip. You need next on Mocha. <laughs> <clears throat> Dude, I don't drink coffee, but I might need to today. Citizens, Good morning, though. Hope you're doing well. God remains opaque to the understanding of mere mortals. So too is truth unmoved by even the strongest of wills. I will now speak to the defendant. 
If you honor the values of truth, justice, and divinity, then you are compelled to provide an accurate account of your actions. <laughs> what I do. Hey, <laughs> that's not bad. Now what's next? <sighs> it's so hard to predict how people are going to react. What should I say during the trial tomorrow? Lady Farina, <gasps> what are you doing? Mr. the boy. Oh, uh, Nervilet! <laughs> As the god of justice, it is only expected that I should remain informed of every trial and make the necessary preparations. It... Is there something that you need in? If you wish to seek an audience with me, then please make an appointment with Sir Intendant in advance. According to the judgment of the Oratrice Mechanique de Malice Cardinal, the Hydro Archive to be punished via the death sentence. What? You and I both know that there may be issues with the Primordial Sea. Everyone on the street who happened to be close to the water didn't have a chance to escape. As the water levels rose, they suddenly disappeared. Shouldn't gods be all-powerful? What's done is done. Just trust me, your Archon. Never mind whether you can truly convince yourself to or not. Look at her though. So the waters are going to be rising. Because you heard it. Oh, that's so good. Oh! Scarlet! I'm so excited for her. I don't want a snack with a balance. I want to see the trailer. Get out of here, snack with a balance. Hydra official, pretty much. I know you're not a local, but I'd avoid getting too close to any water. Oh. It looks strange, all the same. There's something Navi, wrong no. with Oh no! Well, the water, I mean. Gotta hear cheese thing. Yes, what has been prophesized will be fulfilled. I, Farina, will use this trial to show the world the true meaning. Do not resist. Justice. This judgment is fair. Let it go just. What is the meaning you would call this? You have this never been as justice. superficial as you have presented yourself Your to be. No oh, more excuses. Then why should we acknowledge it? So, so long. Why did you deceive us? Applaud and rejoice. Wait just a moment. This isn't right. The trial of the Hydra Oh, the dude is big black. This trial is... I now understand the true purpose behind this position. Uh oh. Oh my god. Whoa! You are a devious one, Fusalor. Child! Everyone. Foul legacy child's back! Papa, what should I do? What the f what is the prophecy that you the boy, playing. the narwhal. No way, is that Skirk? I suppose this would also be the justice that belongs to you. All will eventually end in a magnificent and dramatic trial. Holy fuck! Farewell, Nervalette. I hope you've enjoyed the part you played these 500 years. Aguria? Holy shit! <laughs> Get your redemption codes in. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> well, that was a trailer. I need to log in, I guess. On, on over here. So I can get the code, but holy, holy shit. I need to move so you guys can get the, the code. There you go. I just realized there was a guillotine in there. Oh my goodness. This was... Oh my god. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. Alright, I'm just typing this in. Oh, Rain beat me to it. 
Alright, but yeah, get your code. Rain posted it in the chat there. I'll keep myself up here so you guys can see the codes when they pop up. Alright, here we go. Hey, travelers! Welcome to the Genshin Impact version 4.2 special program. Hello. <laughs> that trailer was fucking insane. I'm Sarah Miller Cruz, the voice of the female traveler Lumine, and I'm joined today by two guests to bring you the latest news for the upcoming version. Okay, why don't you introduce yourselves? All right. Yeah, sounds good. I'll start. Is that hey, Skirk everyone. though? Please I'm tell me Amber that was Skirk. Connors, the voice of Farina, and oh, I am super excited to be on the Lumine special program. Today. Uh, travelers already met the Hydro Archon at the start of their journey in Fontaine. And as oh the story my, continues, there's so much to break down with that trailer. Holy of shit. Crisis foretold in the prophecy. <laughs> um, yeah, I hope everyone's excited to see what happens next. I am. I, mean, I sure am. Uh, I, uh, we had Nervalet um, versus the whale. The it looks like seat. that was in my name is Ray Chase, the opera I'm epic the voice of Nervalet, with the child there too. sovereign of water and Udex of Fontaine. I'm sure many of you already consider Nivellet a very trustworthy partner, and I hope you look forward to seeing more of him in version 4.2. Yes, Do. for sure. Totally. Yep. Okay, so next, let's dive into the major content that we have coming in yes. version 4.2. In the intro, Farina said we need to make an appointment with Sir Intendant Cheval Moran. So, you know, she's really busy as Fontaine's Skirk Archon. Skirk looks like Hershel Brasila and I'm all that for it if it's her, yeah. <laughs> so, the special program oh, she looks so cool. an itinerary That's, to follow, has to be her, doesn't it? And she appears to show it? all of Farina's recent plans. Farina's recent plans, let me guess, she's going to be going to trial, and then another trial, and then another. <laughs> Actually, right, yeah. that sounds about right. <laughs> okay, the itinerary seems pretty packed, so let's take a look at the first item. Oh! Looks like Ray called it. <laughs> wow. Mm. Trial. There is nothing more important to Farina than attending trials at the Opera House. But this trial is a little different from the usual. Oh. Ooh. They have the, the Hydro Gem quote there. Interesting. I know. I know. I'm, I keep looking at the water rushing in. I'm like, what's happening? Yes, yeah, so it looks like there's some spotlights and like oh, it's like so cool. a, a curtain. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm. Seems like, you know. Maybe also Nouvellet is keeping an eye on things from, from yeah. behind is, the scenes, maybe? Very serious. He's oh, cool. always keeping an eye on stuff and always just a little <laughs> bit disappointed. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> okay, in version 4.2, travelers will get to experience Act 5 of the Fontaine Archon Quest, Prophecy Masquerade of happens. the Guilty. We'll team up with Fontanian friends to delve deeper into the hurricane of events and face the impending destruction foretold by the prophecy. Oh, this is so Travelers cool. Travelers will gradually unveil they new facts really behind up the, the stakes. I love and this. And encounter an evil that has been lurking in the swirling depths. Ooh. Yo, here you Welcome on in. Hopefully I pronounced that correctly. Depths. Thank you so much for the follow. <laughs> Welcome on in. Um, right. So, you know, the prophecy oh, this is all crazy. in Fontaine is on the brink of coming true. And this is possibly the greatest crisis we faced in our journey through to that. Yeah. Definitely. In version 4.1, we oh, learned about this precarious situation involving the rising primordial seawater. Nevelet barely arrived in time to hold back the seawater from engulfing the fortress of Meripede, but still, the water has reached Poisson. Luckily, the crisis oh. was averted by Navia's leadership of the Spina de Rosula. Though, we probably can't dismiss oh. the assistance provided by the Nave either. Whatever her end goal may be, it seems like she sincerely got the wants it again. to save Fontaine from the prophecy. But there's only so much that we can say. <laughs> Travelers will have to go and play through the version themselves to discover the clues, adventures, and stories to come. Yes, exactly. So be sure to play through, uncover hidden truths, and witness this epic chapter of Fontaine's history I for yourself can't wait. when Act 5 of the Archon Quest becomes available. Sounds good. So yep. Right? <laughs> hey, question. Mm. Have mm. we forgotten a pretty important character who's been missing from the Fortress of Meripede? Uh, the boy. Uh, yeah. uh, you mean child. The boy. Yeah. yeah. Where's uh, child? We searched all over the fortress for him. <laughs> yep. I I guess we'll just have to live with the suspense for a little longer. No, we're not boy. ideal, but it's fine. It is what it is. Uh, it is what it is. But we I'm saw Child of Kier at the end of the last version's Archon quest, so it we probably did. won't be long. He was, he was in his bathwater. Okay, okay, good. Mm -hmm. But we really need to talk about Farina. What? She's confronted Why? with a 
<laughs> because she's confronted with a crisis that's tough for even one of the great elemental dragons. Hmm. Of course, Fontaine will have the Traveler's help, but what choices will our Hydro Archon make in the face of the crisis? Uh, uh, oh. Well, this is so interesting because, like, the like first line the of the trailer, too, like the death sentence thing, that's crazy. At the fated time. How crazy but is this quest going to be? There's Farina, so much in one quest. Preparations. I think Sumeru's mm, is like five hours once long. Again, so. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's going to be crazy. It's going to be wild. On, guys, have some faith. <laughs> okay, to bolster everyone's confidence in Farina, let's learn a little more about this one of a kind Archon. All right. Why are you just standing there with there your mouth is. gaping? Uh, oh, she has a vision. What? Stunned and at a loss Look, for words. Right there. <laughs> Understandable. It Looks is like combines the two different types. All, Fontaine's most beloved star, Farina. I'm on a very tight schedule, so you're lucky to even get oh, so an appointment cool, with me. Oh my gosh, I love her Ooh. outfit. Yes. Look at oh, her. And, and the eyes, like each of them are different. She's got these little eyelashes and yes. her hat. <laughs> oh, you know, it's amazing. you'd expect for a Hydro Archon that she'd have the best drip. Oh. Oh. Yes. You got the drip. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, you know what? Water. It seems huh. as if she's always dressed like she's about to attend a performance. You know what I mean? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, that's Fontaine's biggest celebrity for you. And speaking of drip, <laughs> Let's take a look at her combat ability. Hell yeah. <laughs> Yay. <sighs> Being too popular can be such a hassle. Who knew the people would adore me so much? Oh my god. Oh, look at her. Oh, so her outfit changes when... When what? Like she changes from Numa to Osa or something? <laughs> I don't want the iPhone. Go away. I got my Google Pixel. Google Pixel is better. Whoa, that is wow. so cool. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Hashtag I like not sponsored. She kind of like bows. Very dramatic. Mm -hmm. Yes. Very much. It's like all of her moves are part of a performance. Yes. Totally. Also, she look looks at so her cool elemental though. burst. Her presence really fills the stage. Everyone mm. else is just an extra. Mm -hmm. Wait, so the creatures that Farina summons, they look a lot like the Phantom or Aberrants that we've encountered before. There's a seahorse, a crab, Dude, yeah. an octopus, and they Little are boys. all so cute. Yep. Oh, I love them. <laughs> Moving close. <laughs> oh my gosh, no, the octopus is even wearing a hat. If you don't like what me at my devil, you don't deserve me at my gentleman. angle. Um, uh, correction uh, here, Sarah. They're a bit oh. different from Phantom or Aberrants, uh, okay. I would know. Okay. Uh, to my <laughs> knowledge, these creatures are Farina's, quote, honored guests. Um, they even help manage her daily affairs. Oh. Yes, <laughs> exactly. As in fighting, so, apparently. So, Farina often invites guests to her tea party, which is known as the Salon Solitaire. And okay. those creatures are actually special guests of the Salon Solitaire. Oh. Mm -hmm. And she even gave each member a name. Oh. Oh my gosh. Oh. Yes. <laughs> so you've got the maid, Mademoiselle Crabaletta. <laughs> <laughs> They're the best. The crab, the one that's Crabaletta. a crab, I assume. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> okay, okay. Yes. And then you've got the housekeeper, Sir Intendant Cheval Moran. Ah, oh, there mm -hmm. he is. 